What is up guys, DC RC back here with another video. Today we're gonna do the review on my Y Trucks X4 editions. Um so let's get down close with it. Um all you, all you get with it is the Y Trucks tool, um, the Y Trucks themselves, and then some hardware and bolts. As you can see here, the X, the Y Trucks X4s on my DCRC deck with G6 wheels. Um I've been testing out this setup for about two weeks now and really liking it. Oh, I got teak red bushings in there uh, that came with these uh, awesome trucks. But here's a closer look at the tool. You can see it has the Y Trucks logo right here. It has a hole where you can put a keychain or something on. And then you can see it got the uh, smaller right here and bigger um, hex wrenches for the smaller ones for the bolts and the bigger ones for the kingpin right here. Um, and speaking of the bolts, that's the one complaint that I really don't, or that is very strong about this, these trucks is that I really hate the bolts that come with these trucks. They're really hard to get on the tool and keep on the tool. Um, and so I just use normal like flat face or whatever, just any other type of bolt as the Phillips head, and then I just use my regular tool to get that in. But yeah, those, I think the threads were slightly bigger, so I had to pre-thread them in before I put them on the deck. But that was no big deal, I got them on in just a few minutes, uh, and then I started testing this thing. Um, so these are, uh, 32 millimeter wide trucks um, They have the screw kingpin that goes into the base plate, so they're not a kingpin with a nut on them um, The axle right here is a single axle that goes all the way through um, And as you can see right Try to get you guys to see there you go down in there. You can see the axle right down in there go through um, these trucks are extremely light. Um, they're lighter than my past trucks, which were dump trucks. And, yeah, they perform really, really well. It took about two or three days to get used to, um, which wasn't too bad. I was thinking it would actually take longer. But once I got used to them, I just realized how much better they were. Uh, they are 55 bucks about on NorthwoodFingerboards.com with, I think, $3 shipping. And shipping was really fast, it was like five days. Uh, so that was nice. Um, as you can see here, the flat face G6 wheels do wiggle a little bit. I know some people would think that's a lot, but really it's no big deal. They don't like wiggle side to side too much. Um, it does rub a little bit when it, the wheel's pushed all the way over here. It does rub a little bit, but you don't feel that when you're riding. Um, they uh, the bearings fit very nice. They spin very free. It rolls really nice. So you can hear it's really nice and smooth. No complaints about that. Uh, so yeah, the only complaints I have are the bolts that are really, really annoying. And the kingpin themselves. Well, this one doesn't, but this truck, the kingpin actually sticks out a little bit. As you can see right there. And it's kind of annoying when you're doing 50-50 grinds, it has like, when you're doing a, in a grind, and you're locked in, and if you move it all side to side, it has a, when you're moving side to side, it has a little notch, um, in there, as you can see right here, hear that, and you can see, it's a little notch, it's kind of annoying, but I don't do 50-50 grinds all that often, so it's not too big of a deal for me, um, but for some of you, that might be something to worry about, but, that can also be fixed with uh, tighter trucks. I run very loose trucks. As you can see, extremely loose. They almost get wheel bite. If you press it really hard, you can get wheel bite. But yeah, I run pretty loose trucks, um, but they work well. Uh, so the durability of them is extremely nice. As you can see there, I'll try to get to focus on this spot. Of keeping it in the light. There's some minor scrapes, but rubbing my finger on it, you can't really feel any scratches. That's just rubbing the anodizing um, on the truck, but it's not too bad. 
Try to get you guys to see this truck also. But yeah, it's not too bad. The uh, scratching's pretty nice. Um, so yeah, this and all this board has some or grinds and slides extremely smooth. No complaints on that. Um, no complaints on the build quality. They're really light. The wheels fit on nicely. Um, the kingpin design is pretty unique and cool. Um, and so yeah, let's get some tricks on these things and we'll see you guys next time.